Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to discuss about what is join method and how to developing program on top of the join method. Basically, whenever we working with the multi threading related programs, our threads are going to executing by JVM simultaneously. And the output of the program is going to change from one program to another program. The reason is thread execution everything is taken care by JVM itself. Sometimes it will taking chance of priority, sometimes it will taking uh, thread execution depend upon scheduler algorithms. So, we are not giving any guarantee about execution. So, According to our requirement, if you want to execute our threads, if you want to execute our threads according to our requirement, we have different methods like yield, sleep, join, suspend, resume, wait, notify like this lot of methods are there. So, among all these methods, first let me start about, let me talk a discussion about, let me start discussing about join method. So, our concept is join method, join method in multi threading, join method in multi threading. Observe here, one more time I am repeating, thread executions everything is taken care by JVM. If you want to execute the threads according to our requirement, according to our requirement, then we should prefer one of the method like join, but what exactly join will do, when should we go for join, observe. If any one thread depends on, depends on another thread work completion, another thread work completion, if any one thread depends on another thread work completion, then we should go for, then we should go for join method. Basically, we have three types of join methods, join with the 0, join with the single argument and join with what double argument, overloaded methods, overloaded methods. Let me show you those method structure once, open command prompt, go to thread class java p java dot lang dot thread class, thread class. Now, join methods here we have three join methods, join with the long, join with the long comma int, join with the zero. So, these are the final methods. So, not participated in overriding and synchronized, two are synchronized, we will discuss what is synchronized and these three are throwing one exception, what is that interrupted exception, java dot lang dot interrupted exception. That means, while working with the join method, we should handle the exception handle which exception, checked exception, handle which exception, checked exception. What is that exception? What is that exception? Java dot lang dot interrupted exception, Java dot lang dot interrupted exception, clear. So, let me show you join method functionality program uh, diagrammatically. There is one task and this is one task. Now, this is the task 1, task 1 and this is what here task 2, task 1 and a task 2. Here I have set of statements, control C, here I have set of statements, control C and task 2 have also set of statements. Now, assume this uh, task executing by T1 thread and this task executing by T2 thread. Now, T1 task, T1 is first starting this task, T1's task is depend upon T2 task work completion, T1 task is depend upon 
T2 task work completion. Then what happened? How to call the T2 task? How to call the T1 thread work completion is depend upon T2 thread T2 thread work completion. Nothing but task 1 work completion is depend upon task 2. So then how can we call that? So T1 thread is depend upon T2 thread. So T1 thread should call T2 thread. T1 thread should call T2 thread. T1 dot join. This is what non-static method. So definitely we should use a reference of the thread. Then what happened? The control is going from whenever thread 1 will call the T2 dot join, thread will go to waiting state or pass mode and T2 will executing entire task and again control come back to task 1. Nothing but thread 1. First control going to where to where thread 1 to thread 2 and thread 2 will executing the task and after successfully completion of the task control come back to join. So whenever we using the join method no doubt at all our T2, T2 thread will executing task completely. Whenever we using join method T1 thread will wait go to wait mode and giving the chance to T2 thread and T2 thread will executing entire task 2 after completion of the task 2 T2 thread will coming back to task 1. Now that is zero argument and some arguments are there. How these arguments are working? How these arguments methods are working? For example, instead of T2, I am writing like a T2 dot join. Instead of T2, if I am writing like a T2 dot join of 1500 milliseconds, 1500 milliseconds. Now assume T2 required, T2 required 1000 milliseconds to work completion. T2 thread required to complete the task to how many milliseconds? 1000 milliseconds. Then what happened? T1 will call the T2 thread and, pro and giving some particular period of time. If the given period of time, if the given period of time greater than work completion of time, nothing but how much time I am giving to T2 for executing the task? 1500 milliseconds. But actually T2 required how many milliseconds? Only 1000 milliseconds. So the work will be completed within the 1000 milliseconds. After that what it will doing? What the T2 thread will doing? It will not wasting the remaining 500 milliseconds. It will giving chance to again T1. So here the conclusion point here is given period of time is greater than work completion of time. T2 thread will spend only that work completion of time remaining time is not wasted control coming back to T2 to T1. For example, I am writing instead of T2 of uh, instead of uh, T1 dot join of 1500, I am writing T2 dot join of T2 dot join of 500. Then what happened given work period of time how much Wor given period of time is what 500 but work completion time is what here 1000. So how much time T2 will working only 500 milliseconds. Once 500 milliseconds completed, control come back to T1 task. Nothing but thread 1. So, here if you have a clear idea on work completion, better to go with what here? Join with the timing. And if you do not have completion of work completion timing, better to go with what here? Join with 0. Join with 0 is the best approach. The reason is we, have, we can give the guarantee after work completion of T2 only, after uh, task 2 completed by the T2 thread only control come back to T1. So this is the information related to join. Join when should we go for join means if any one thread is depend upon another thread work completion definitely we should go for join. Okay. For example T1 thread work is uh, uh, T1 thread uh, work completion is depend upon T2 thread work definitely we should call t1 should call t2 dot join method then only control going to t1 to t2 and t1 will go to the pass mode and t will be, t2 will executing the task and after completion of the task it will come back to t1 so this is the smaller introduction related to join method i hope you understand in the next video i'm going to discuss programming on join method thank you for more videos please subscribe to channel